That stuff tastes horribly. If swallowed, call a poison control center. Well, tonight we're going to do something just a little bit different besides battle the pterodactyl mosquitoes. There's some people who either don't have a dedicated planetary astro camera or they don't want one. But they do have a DSLR and some of them do have a telescope and they want to take pictures of planets and you, you know you try to explain that it's not a picture it's a video well you can take video with your camera uh, it won't be as good as a dedicated astronomy camera but it is possible I've never done it I would like to do it I'm gonna make a video about it so let's get to it so the equipment we're gonna to need tonight is a DSLR or mirrorless a t-ring for your style of camera this is a Nikon the T adapter which the T ring screws onto and goes into the telescope and then a two times Barlow element which screws onto the t-ring all right so we're at the telescope tonight we don't have a planetary camera and we don't have a smartphone we have a DSLR because that's what we have laying around because you know we're a photographer you want to use the smallest image scale for your camera so go to Google type in your camera video specs what have you and then the smallest frame size that's on there uh, is the one you want you don't need the whole sensor because it won't do you any good uh, and it'll also save you file size once you do that hook it up to the telescope well that's good to go you align the planet now you want to live view zoom onto the planet and and you want to make the planet as small as possible until you see as much resolution or until you get the blue and the red channels as small as possible because since it's a color camera and you're shooting a very large sensor on a very small object and you zoom in on live view you're going to have that severe color fringing so you just want to make it as small as possible in hopes that you can fix it in either photoshop or in registax with the rgb align and then for whatever planet you're shooting, you want to basically adjust ISO instead of gain and your exposure. And then shoot a video. We're shooting Mars. I don't want to go any more than six minutes because I'll get too much rotation. So I'll probably do uh, three or four, depending uh, on how fast I can shoot. And we'll go from there. back in the house no more mosquitoes again so we use the DSLR to take a video of Mars I'm not gonna go through the whole process again because it's pretty much the identical to the smartphone one uh, which I'll put up there you'll still go through pip to analyze and crop and then export the video uh, take that video go into auto stacker stack it all that stuff but before we work on the picture, I want to show you the difference between a planetary recording and a DSLR recording. So the DSLR recording, and this is a full frame Nikon D810 sensor, but you can see just how tiny the planet is on the sensor. And so when we crop in, we're only going to be using 5% of the whole sensor. And there's three minutes of black screen and a little bitty dot of Mars. Drastically different. Uh, this is a red channel of Mars from, I don't know, last week sometime. But just see how much larger the planet is on the sensor. And even with the cutout window, we're taking, I mean, we're using a whole lot more of the sensor. So you can get a whole lot more signal. You don't have to crop as much, all that. But once you've ran the video through PIP, cropped it down, and then gone through auto stacker and stacked, this is what you got. This is a 200 by 200 pixel box. And Mars is still teeny, teeny, tiny, even in 200 by 200 pixels. So we're not going to be able to do a whole hell of a lot with this data. We'll just start playing around. So 
So one thing that's quite evident on here is this super bright outer ring. You know, you could cut that off, you could clone it, whatever, but you can see it does contain the polar cap among some other stuff. So you can't really do anything about it. Can't over sharpen because all you're gonna do is make that brighter. So I think this is a pretty good stopping point. So we'll go ahead and open up Photoshop and see what we can eke out of it. That's all I got. Hey, it was my first time doing it too. So, do I advise using a DSLR? No, not at all. Can it be done? Absolutely. There it is. I mean, if you know it's Mars, it looks like Mars. You can see the polar cap. You can see Certus Major. Close enough? If you have a DSLR and a telescope, just shoot the moon. It's so much easier and so much more rewarding. Because people love the moon, yes they do. I'm really disappointed with how this turned out. I almost feel like I'm doing a disservice.